why isn't Jerry Judy a Bronco anymore? Because he's not a good football player. He's an exceptional athlete, and there's a big difference between being a great athlete and a good football player. And when you look at Jerry Judy, there's a lack of, you know, there is, a, obviously, he's got a skill set. And the guy, you know, is obviously an exceptional athlete. But he doesn't get involved in the running game. Uh, when it, when he's not the primary target, he doesn't draw coverage. So he doesn't do some of the things that are required uh, for you to be a good football team. And I think that's the one thing we get, because talent is easy to see. That's like the NFL draft and the combine. And you do a great job, by the way, Rich. Thanks, I watch a bunch of the combine stuff. Um, but the, the problem with the combine and and athletic skills is athleticism is the easiest thing in the world to see. I can see a great athlete, right? I can see guys who can run and jump and do all those things. It doesn't necessarily equate to being a great football player. And then also when you talk about team, and this is what I love about uh, just the National Football League in general, is that to be a great team, you have to have guys that are willing to sacrifice one another for one another. And the key to winning championships is when you care more about the guys you play with and you care about yourself. Like, that's the key to winning championships at this level. And Jerry Judy has not displayed that he can do any of those things. Like, when he doesn't get the ball, he complains, he whines about it, um, he cries about it, and he's dropped a ton of balls over the course of his career here. He's just not a great football player. He's an exceptional athlete. And you would hope, like, for me, my hope would be that being traded as a former first-rounder and only getting a fifth and sixth-rounder in return, that that would be something that would be a wake-up call for you. But if you don't ever take responsibility for the fact that you really didn't produce and you're a first round bust in Denver, if you're not going to take responsibility for that, then my thought process is why would you ever take responsibility for if it's, you know, if you're a victim and it's everybody else's fault, then do I think he's going to have success? No, I hope he does. I hope he, he, he looks at himself critically and says, man, I've got to be better at X, Y, and Z. But so far, there's nothing in his career that would tell me he would do that. In the meantime, Cortland Sutton took to, and this is a, a 21st century way of trying to read tea leaves, obviously, when you're looking at Instagram right. accounts and uh, and Twitter accounts. Instagram, he was he was wondering what was up with letting Jerry Judy go. And then on his Twitter account, he removes, they're saying he's playing with his emotions at this point, Twitter account, he removes the Broncos from there because I guess he's maybe getting rid of, he says, what's next? Um, what advice would you give him knowing Sean Payton and perhaps a, a little insight on what the plan is there? Yeah, well, I think that ultimately when you're in a, a full teardown, and I agree with the full teardown, I mean, um, you've been putting Band-Aids on gaping wounds here for eight years. So I agree with the full teardown. And when that's the case, um, you know, you got to be ready to move on for Portland Sun. He's got to be ready to move on because I think, um, it's only a matter of time before he's no longer on this roster as well. And I think one of the big problems with teams that are perennial losers, losers remember, like the, the Denver Broncos were, were a crown jewel in the National Football League. They are no longer relevant, and they haven't been for quite some time. And there's not one guy that's been drafted since 2015 that has ever tasted. There's not one guy on this team that was in a draft pick that's ever tasted the playoffs. It's not one. And and I think one of the problems when you have um, losing issues within a franchise, um, there are guys that, that are part of that franchise that think they you know are working hard, that think they're preparing, that think they're studying, that think they're really doing this, but they don't have the, the knowledge of what it really re is required to be great in this league. And so you think you're doing things, you think you're sacrificing, you think you're doing all these things, and you're really not even close. And so that's another part of the purge here that's going on that I think is imperative. Um, I think it is time to, like I said, clean house, rip off the Band-Aids and, and, you know, go in a different direction. Because what they've done here and the draft picks that have been made previously, um, I mean, there are a couple of players walking away in free agency from not having anybody from – the 2018, the 2019, and the 2020 draft class on their roster. Mm. I mean, that, that's just, I mean, it's pathetic. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.